Hi everyone, welcome back to Arting with Mrs. Gill, and I'm Mrs. Gill. Hey, how is everybody today? Um, I'm doing great, doing a bunch of videos today, and right now I'm going to use my smaller Posca pens to color my designs. How's that sound? All right, thank you for joining me and I appreciate you. Okay, so let's use these. As you know, I love Posca markers. This is a PC3M with a finer nib. So I'm going to, oh, look at that. This is one of my most favorite colors. And i try and put those lids on. And, um, oh, look at that. So relaxing, don't you think, coloring in places? I do. I'm trying to snazz up my side a little bit, so I got my little, I got my critters here. These I got from Amazon. I painted them. This was a kit. Um, so, and I did that on one of my videos, and you can look on YouTube and see where I went ahead and painted those. Most of my crafts, or in fact all of them, I get from Amazon because I get to have it delivered straight to my door. And that's good for a homebody like me. I really don't like going out much, and especially with diseases going around lately, I'm glad to stay home. And, you know, staying home's a lot easier these days. You can have groceries delivered. You can do a lot of different things. So, I am taking my Posca markers and I'm going to make this, I think this is almost an 8 by 10 canvas. I had done this a year or two ago. And I thought I'd break out some of my canvases you have all not seen. You've seen me with sketchbooks and crafts. But I've also done some canvas work. Okay, there's that. And let's see, where else can we put some neat colors? I love that color. Um, maybe some green in the, a little bit of green in the trees. How about that? Make it seem like it's spring a little bit, huh? With these markers, if I make a mistake, I just let it dry and go over it. No big deal. This will show it's kind of more like spring this way. I got this idea from Pinterest for this sun and all that, but I modified it. I made some of my own modifications. And because um, I don't really like to copy people's work, but I will get ideas and make it a little bit different. And that's pretty good. Okay, so we did that. Let's put this color about right in here. A line. Oh, yeah. I think turquoise and orange looks really good together. It's a nice combination. You see that in a lot of his, uh, Hispanic, Latino art as well as Native American. And uh, got to be careful with doing Native American stuff. You don't want to do anything that's not respectful of the tribes. I've worked with Native Americans at Haskell Indian Nations University. I taught there for several years and I loved it. I love the Native American culture. I find uh, each tribe has their own special gifts and I like learning about it. There's so many tribes within the United States as well as Canada and I think it would behoove all of us to learn more about Native Americans because they were here first and uh, they have some phenomenal wonderful traditions and love uh, for their families that is very uh, 
beautiful. Oh, look at this. Speaking of beautiful, look at that paint going down. Isn't that beautiful? I like it is. And that's a beautiful turquoise. Okay, so we've used some turquoise. Let's go and use a different color, huh? Put the lid on that. Go into my little bamboo pen holder and pick out a, what is this? This is a PC1M orange. Shake her up, Posca. You shake it all up. And let's see if I can, what I can do to make this stand out more. How about, well, that'll go with that, wouldn't it? Nope. I found off. Okay, I'm not going to use that. Let me use something else. Where's that turquoise? I used that already. Oh, let's use this. This is a, uh, the green, light green, Posca. It's a uh, Posca PC1M. This has the metal. Oh, no, it's not. It's got the other nib. Okay, so we're going to see what the happens here. Be careful on these because pressing down can make a lot of paint come out at once. And if you're doing fine work, you won't want that because it will bubble up. In my last video, you can see that I, uh, I did do that when I was working on my 5x7 canvases. And that was a video or two ago. So now we're going to do this. So tell me what's going on with you. I hope you enjoy listening to my voice and uh, relaxing while you watch me or you can be doing art with me and that's fun too very relaxing remember to keep your posture up i've been working on that take your deep cleansing breaths and relax and let the world dissolve away that's the way I like it some of the news ain't so great so I say don't listen to it right now watch me and relax I try I'm trying to emulate I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Delilah she was on the radio she had a show her voice was so relaxing and calm and loving. I'm hoping that I emulate some of that with this channel. Because I sure did. She helped me a lot when I was all alone driving from a night job I had. And I tell you, she just, her voice just made me feel so calm. And, and also like I wasn't alone. You know, I know a lot of you out there are lonely and alone. And uh, there's a lot of you out there in this world that are alone. And I hope that my voice, maybe my art, can help you not feel so alone or traumatized. I think we've all experienced some kind of trauma in our lives and uh, it's hard to get over. But you sure can if you use the right tools. And I think listening to this channel might be a good idea too. <laughs> of course I would think that, wouldn't I? Okay, how are we doing on time? Looks like we're doing good. See, I'm coloring, I'm adding some neat colors to my scheme here okay so let's put in some more greenery like here yeah oh yeah we got some green leaves going oh we got some green leaves going over here it's my dog trying to find a place to sit in here i 
Oh yeah, that's kind of cool, isn't it? What you can do with these colors. Okay, let's see. What else can I do with that? We'll use a different color and... What do we have? Here's a green. This is a... Is it a metallic? Yeah, I think it's a metallic. It's a PC1MR shaker up. And I think we'll do some trees over here. And the reason I'm going weird like this is because I don't want to get... Oh, yeah. My other paint wet. See over here, it's still wet. So I've got to go over here. I don't want to move the canvas because you won't be able to see very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fine marker, see like that? It's metallic. Posca has a bunch of markers. And, you, and like I say, you don't have to use Posca markers. You can use any marker you want to use. Okay? I like Posca, but I also use others. And if you look in my videos, I have like 125 videos now. Um, you can see me using Posca, Tan, Mitt, Cold, um, some other ones. Okay, oh, look at that green. That's a neat green. That's a metallic green. Let's see how I can use that again. Let's go right here. Color those in. Posca works well on canvases. As you can see, this is a canvas. Uh, most of my work I have been doing uh, has been on sketchbooks, which I love sketchbooks. But I also have done some work on canvases, and I'm going to bring those out more in the upcoming weeks to show you what I've done. Always working on improving my art, and by doing it all the time, it's helped me to get better at it. But it's progress, not perfection. Progress, not perfection. Nobody's perfect. Even if they may act like they're perfect, and God knows we've been around people that acted like they were perfect. And I've acted like it sometimes back in the past. Uh, but nobody's perfect. Nobody. Okay, there we go. That's kind of neat, isn't it? Can you see that? Yeah, so we have different colors and textures we're adding to this. Okay, so we've got that green. Let's go with this. Make another texture to this. Add some lines. Something different. It's your art. You can do anything you want to it. And that's what I like. The freedom of being able to do what you want when you want. That's very nice, let me tell you. It's one of the benefits of being retired as well. You don't have a boss. So, that's nice. Okay, so let's see how we're doing. I think we're going to call it quits now for today. I hope you've enjoyed this, um, and I hope you come back to Arting with Mrs. Gill. Thank you. Bye-bye.